we're on the doorstep, we're on the brink of a simply enormous, gigantic change in visual communication. It's only now that the latest developments of 3D technology have given us the possibility of filming the full range of wildlife in 3D. specimens were discovered, it was realized that this was certainly a reptile with a wing, so it was called pterosaur, winged lizard. Only now are we beginning to appreciate the full the wonders and splendors of those pioneers of flight, the pterosaurs. South Georgia, it's a harsh place, battered by Antarctic weather. For the first time in a long time, he gets to leave Penguin City. He can barely contain himself. There's always some form of precipitation here in South Georgia. It's either rain, it's hail, it's sleet, or it's snow. It's playing havoc with our equipment. It just hampers progress badly. Hello, guys. You don't have any such problems, do you? An action. You come in, you get off the egg, you get on the egg. No, not yet. Come back. It's oh, impossible. Apparently, something's happened to my tent. <laughs> I've seen plants growing in their natural habitats all over the world, but here in Kew, it's possible to examine them in a way that is impossible in the wild. I will be using today's latest technology to reveal a whole new dimension in the lives of plants. If you speed up time, plants begin to reveal their true nature. We can imagine microscopic droplets of these volatile oils suspended in the air. the Galapagos Islands. These have been called nature's greatest experiment. They lie plumb on the equator with its year-long warmth and sunshine. But perhaps more importantly, they also lie at the crossroads between two competing winds. 3D proper use, it seems to me, can give the viewer more of a feeling of being there, more of a feeling of the reality. Um, we'll see if we succeed. They had to do something radical. They had to swim, and under the water, they found an endless supply of seaweed Our world is not always the same. Hidden from our view lies a different world. Creatures utterly unlike us, almost alien. Yet they are more numerous than any other group on the planet. Welcome to the fascinating world of the arthropods. This series uses specially developed 3D camera technology to study the micro world in extraordinary detail. When a female finds a male, their extraordinary ritual begins. They dance. It's been very special working with David Attenborough, one of the great storytellers. And what's nice about it is he comes up with fantastic ideas 
which are perfect for 3D. And then we bring a fantastic team around him and work with him for over a year on each film to bring that film to another level and push the bounds. And he loves it. He loves being part of a new kind of filmmaking, a filmmaking which is in 3D and an incredible resolution. And I think that, that's very exciting for him and it's very exciting for us. 3D is allowing us to see the world in a different way. This is a great moment where 3D has come away in television. Thank you all very much. Thank you. What's really exciting about the film we're making here in the Natural History Museum with David Attenborough is that it's really going to push the bounds of everything we've learned on all our other productions in 3D. There's a kind of buzz each day when we go into a break. People are talking. There's a lot of excitement. This is going to be a very special film. Pretty amazing feeling to have this whole space to ourselves. It's modeled on a cathedral. Owen, its uh, founder, wanted this to be a cathedral to life and to creation. It's a gem of a building to be working with and just calls out for super dramatic lighting. Part of the wonderful thing about this film is actually the museum itself and having those original specimens. And from those, we can actually recreate through science how these extinct animals looked in life in a true natural light. It's such a privilege to work with David. He just has the most amazing way of communicating subjects that can be complicated in the most engaging ways. David has been incredible for someone who's had to come out as the only person in this film and literally perform in front of creatures that you can't even see. <laughs> and there's a different Amber, an Amber you haven't actually seen before, combined with the Amber we all know.